So I want to show you my automatic drinking systems. They're pretty simple. Um, I've got 50 individual pins out here for breeding projects. Um, one pair per cage, obviously, and also use them as quarantine pins if I bring new birds in. It took me a long time to uh, set them up and kind of figure out what I uh, needed to do. And the the biggest issue with them was that I found was it's really efficient having, as far from a breeding standpoint, having individual pens. But it's it's pretty difficult um, keeping up with them every day. You know, it's a lot of work. You got to feed every. Uh, Pretty much feeding water every compartment each day. Feeding's not so hard, but when you're using, like I was for years, using little milk jugs and manufactured waterers individually, you'd have to change the water every day and you'd have, you know, to have 50 of them to change. That's a lot of work. It took me a couple hours just to do the individual pens. Um, so needless to say, I wanted to look for a remedy changing waters every day and cleaning waters and filling up every, uh, even if you come up with a really efficient system is pretty time consuming. And I started looking at automatic watering systems and uh, tried a lot of different systems. And finally what I decided on were these little quail cups. Uh, they work by gravity. They don't have a. They do have a spring in them, but they're they're different than what you're going to find at Tractor Supply or some of the typical poultry feed houses. I get these from eBay. They're pretty low cost. They're fifty cents or a dollar each um, for the cup, and they rely on uh, three eighths ID vinyl tubing. I use the the clear stuff, which seems to be the easiest to find and a five gallon bucket and a three eighths barbed fitting. You can get them in plastic or brass. Um, they're in the plumbing section, usually at any store, Home Depot or whatever you have. Um, every place carries them. They're common plumbing part. And pretty much it's just a gravity system and you have your, your bucket for a reservoir and you have the fitting that your vinyl tubing plugs in and your vinyl tubing plugs into the water and you can set them up in uh, chains of circuits, which is what I originally did when I kind of started uh, started small. And I ran, uh, I think originally one bucket per four cages, which it, it turned out that was still quite a bit of work. Um, you know, because, you know, still having to fill those almost daily because I mean, they, especially in the summer, the birds do take a lot of water and you've always got some leaks and things of that nature. And I eventually uh, converted to where every cage has uh, its own contained gravity water system. And it, it took some doing, but uh, everybody but that far bent, uh, bunch there, I've got a few more to finish. But as you can see, everybody's got their own water. Um, it's just a five gallon bucket. The five gallon bucket's four bucks. Been kind of hard getting uh, five gallon buckets lately, but. If you look hard, you can find them, or at least where I'm at, they've been kind of difficult to find. Maybe it might be because I'm buying them all, but I don't think so. I think it's just uh, trucking shortages because of the way the world is. The cups come from eBay. Um, I ordered the vinyl tubing from Home Depot. It was fairly affordable. You can get 100 feet for 30 bucks or whatever. And for most people, you know, a couple five-gallon buckets and one batch of cups and one roll of tubing is going to go pretty far. Um, most people don't have the sort of extreme setup I have here with 50 individual pins and other things that need the same sort of systems. So here's the quail cup. There's a couple different designs. Um, this has two inlets, one in, one out. Um, they are made for chains with the the poultry, I tend to use two cups per water, just so they have plenty of water. Um, pigeons tend to drink less water than the poultry do. Or at least they spend they spend less time with the cup. So a pair can easily share one cup. If you have a trio of poultry or a quad of poultry, you know, you probably should use two. Um, 
the cup is spring loaded um, and basically how it works when it's empty it's raised um, and it's got a valve in it with a little spring and that feeds the water and they take a little bit of adjustment and all that I'll try to I've got this one full Get some water running down and it fills I think you can see it filling down there pull back you can see the water coming down the system it's just a trickle and it fills up and once the cup reaches a certain level um, it stops it's got a little spring in there and it kind of works like a, a little float, float valve so when the cup is up it fills and when it drops to a certain level it stops and it goes together pretty simply um, here's the close-up here's the bucket and there's just this little fitting these are plastic these come from tractor supply um, I've kind of exhausted the supply of brass ones here I like the brass ones better they last long they don't get damaged by the Sun um, so they're gonna last longer you can reuse them even if the whole system goes bad you've still got the uh, the three dollar brass fitting so the buckets are, are four the fittings usually two to three dollars or two to four dollars depending on what you get this is like a two dollar fitting it's plastic the brass ones are about five bucks or four or five bucks a um, little bit of vinyl tubing goes down and the cup I've got maybe a dollar worth of tubing here so that's uh, seven dollars and a dollar cup so basically for eight dollars you get a uh, fully contained system and what I do is to set them up this way I just take a, a shorter piece of tubing and I bend it over pretty good and squish it down with a pair of pliers and a little bit of baling wire and put it together and you can kind of wire that in which I haven't done with this one yet but that'll help stabilize it a bit and it's pretty neat it makes sure that your birds have plenty of water especially during the summer and the thing is um, you can give your your birds you can completely feed them up you know ahead of time for a couple days if you have a lot of birds to manage you know and you're you're busy but if they don't have enough water they won't feed the youngsters efficiently they tend to want to neglect them a little bit um, and they'll take care of them well if you have a steady source of water um, these did go through the winter um, cleaning wise um, they do tend to build up with algae um, because of the Sun you know and obviously it's just um, you know it gets warm and it grows algae that's just kind of the the way it goes um, flushing the lines is a little difficult you really do have to take them apart and clean the cup up daily maintenance you can just take a, a little bit of soapy water and a rag and just kind of wipe the cup down good and keep it clean and then when you do a deep clean um, just take the system apart um, and it's easier to take them apart if you have uh, one water per cage if you put them in a, a chain which I used to have them in you know just everybody's got their own water but if you have them in a chain then you're gonna start cutting lines up and you have a, a mess I originally started with kind of a circuit that way and I, I moved away from it because it was harder to maintain um, you got to cut the line and put it all back together and all that and with this it just pulls apart um, you can just take the cup apart pull the line off drain it um, they do make water protector for poultry um, it's manufactured by Manapro most feed stores have it and it's just called poultry water protector um, I don't use it largely because it's something like eight dollars for a little bottle and if you only have a few birds it's well worth doing now if you have a lot of birds I could use six or seven of those little bottles every time I water which is every couple days every time I top my water is up and it's pretty expensive I would be spending $500 a month on water protector it's almost it would be almost as much as my feed bill so a little bit out of line um, I do run a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar in there which does help keep the the algae down a little bit you might try a uh, a little spoonful of bleach make sure it's pure bleach not scented or anything like that it's getting pretty difficult to know what kind of bleach to use in the old days we used to 
use a lot of Clorox and to keep water clean and waters and things of that nature and usually just drop a cap full and maybe 20 gallons of water or 50 gallons of water that we'd store and give to the bird and birds and it's, it's a lot more difficult these days um so they've all got some sort of scent in them uh, to make them unbleached like and there's other additives in them that you know are questionable as far as giving to birds um and there are some other livestock products on there some people suggest putting a, a copper penny in each receptacle or a silver coin to keep the algae down i haven't tried putting a, a coin or anything like that in them um, i've pretty much just used the apple cider vinegar and cleaned and scrubbed and taken my waters apart you know every couple months make sure they're they're flush clean flush the lines out good um, but pretty simple pretty affordable and it provides lots of water great labor saver um, you know most of us we want to enjoy being around our birds and focus on you know observing and keeping records and things of that nature we don't want to really have to spend most of our time changing water and feeding and, and all of that sort of thing so this has been a really really great labor saver uh, like i said i used to spend about three hours a day doing waterers and with these individual pens when you combine that with everything else and needless to say i've cut that down to um maybe half an hour um still takes a lot of time to feed because obviously everybody's got their own feed cups so everybody does need fed but that doesn't take too long to feed 